All right, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about a winter storm that's going to be affecting the Mid-Atlantic and New England areas of the United States. We're going to be walking through this one using the NAM 12KM model, and we're going to start out 0Z Wednesday. So this is kind of Tuesday night, Tuesday late evening. Uh, that's tomorrow. And we're going to move on one hour, and you can see this is by Wednesday morning. We have snow overtaking the whole northern Virginia area, Maryland, northern West Virginia, Ohio, central Ohio, getting in on some of that moderate snow. Southern Pennsylvania, Delaware in some areas are getting some snow at this point. Now, a major theme with this one is going to be some icing issues, and you can see all those pinks and purples. We're going to have to get into this as we make more forecasts for this storm. That uh, There will be a lot of discussion on the ice that's going to be affecting some areas it's going to vary but it could be very major uh, as far as ice is concerned this is wednesday evening late evening kind of th th uh this is yeah like wednesday night and you can see the snow is heading for new york city southern new england and upstate new york areas like that and we're going to move on to thursday morning and you can see new hampshire vermont upstate new york and maine are getting all that snow now ice for massachusetts and southern new hampshire at this point and by Thursday night, we have all the snow moved out. So we're going to go model by model as far as snow depth is concerned. Here's your NAM 12KM. That's what we just looked at. And you can see uh, this one's very far north compared to other models. But we do have, I mean, 6 to 10 inches in a lot of areas in those pinks. Uh, Northern Virginia, you're looking at, at 2 to 4 inches, maybe 5 or 6 in some areas. Central Ohio, going to have that little strip of 6 to 10 inches as well. New Jersey, New York City. This is snow depth, by the way, so this takes into account the ice and the rain. We're going to move on one more. Here's the ECMWF model, and you can see it's a lot of the same. It's kind of in the south, though. You can see New England gets a lot more on this model. Uh, but really, southern Pennsylvania uh, getting those 6 to 10 inch amounts, but northern Virginia not getting quite as much according to the European model. Again, we will have some forecasts out for this storm, so stay tuned with us as we are going to have videos, more videos out for this storm. Uh, but as of right now, the models are kind of all over the place. We're going to move on to the FV3 GFS. And you can see this one's a lot further south. You see West Virginia getting the brunt of it. Northern Maryland, Southern Pennsylvania, Northern Virginia. Oh, looking at 10 inches plus in those green areas. Very interesting. And here's your uh, gem model. And you can see North Carolina, uh, Southern Virginia, and Northern Virginia getting a lot of that snow. 6 to 10 inches in those pink areas. And looking at more of 4 to 6 in those purple areas. Moving on to your GFS model, you can see that's that Northern Virginia, Maryland, D.C., uh, West Virginia area, Pennsylvania, Southern Pennsylvania as well. Getting in on those 6 to 10 inch amounts and even 10 inches plus in those green areas again. Uh, and here's your NAM. 3k on model and this one's a little bit high more high definition you can see this one doesn't show quite as much uh, snow but high elevation snow for for most areas really looking at uh, four to six inches maybe some areas getting over six inches according to this model so again a lot of models showing a lot of different things we're gonna have to stay tuned uh, i just wanted to show you guys what the models are showing as of right now but i might have a forecast out later today or at least by tomorrow anyway guys i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching